वेलकम बैक टू रैंकर्स सर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ वंडरफुल सेशन ऑन कंफ्यूजिंग वर्ड्स गाइस व्हाट आर कंफ्यूजिंग वर्ड्स कंफ्यूजिंग वर्ड्स आर वर्ड्स व्हिच आर क्वाइट सिमिलर आइडेंटिकल टू ईच अदर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीस वर्ड्स इज क्वाइट अननोटिसेबल गाइस सी अल्टर कंटेंस स्पेलिंग विद लेटर ई वेयर एज अल्टा इज अ वर्ड कंटेंस अ स्पेलिंग विद लेटर ए राइट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीस टू वर्ड्स इज क्वाइट अननोटिसेबल when such words are given in the exams to identify the meaning of that words people end up using the meaning of one word for the other okay so you have to identify the difference between these two words properly guys so let us shed a light on confusing words in this session okay so what is the meaning of alter and what is the meaning of altar with a guys the difference is very easy alter alter is a word which is very widely used in our spoken language also uh, alter simply means to change right alter simply means to change right in this sentence if i read the sentence guys i can find the word alter and the meaning is also quite easily understood during all this time little was done to alter the condition of the natives what is the meaning of that to change simply to change or what is the meaning of the entire sentence during all this time little was done nothing was done to change the condition of the natives right the natives were fa facing some trouble but nothing was done to change their condition okay so alter simply means to change something okay what is the meaning of altar then right now guys the difference is definitely there these two words are not similar they are different so identify the meaning now okay what is the meaning of altar altar is a place of worship it is a place of worship okay generally altar is a place of worship in churches guys in churches we find a table like structure where people give their sacrifices that place is known as altar okay now very anyway it is kind of related to worship okay now see he knelt in front of the altar in the gesture of worship altar is a place of worship nothing but a table where the sacrifices were given so there is a noticeable difference between altar and altar they are quite different when altar is given you don't have to confuse or uh, confuse uh, confuse the meaning of this word for altar right so let us use this words very properly now altar is to change altar is to place of worship the next pair of words we have is amicable and amiable guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel at please subscribe it right now okay right so guys next word is amicable amiable right okay what is the meaning of amicable and amiable guys these words are quite related to each other in their meanings also but there is a difference guys right uh, there is a noticeable difference the only difference that you identify based on spelling is the letter c here right amicable along with c amiable without c right now don't get confused guys these two are different 100% different if you have to get an idea of it please read this sentence once i have an amicable relationship with my neighbor guys amicable relationship is mentioned here right what kind of a relation could it be guys amicable always shows friendliness it shows what what guys friendliness <clears throat> right amicable simply means friendliness guys it is uh, used when we talk about relationship between two persons okay if i say these two persons are friendly i am going to say they are amicable okay the relationship between people friendliness always is mentioned using amicable then what is the meaning of amiable it is also closely related in the sense but not exactly same now understand what is the meaning of amiable amiable is also friendly but it always talks about friendly disposition guys it talks about friendly disposition friendly nature disposition not nothing but a nature right okay guys when we talk about a person who is who is actually a friendly person okay if his nature itself is friendly if he is you if he is getting to talk talk with people easily or if he if he is mingling with people easily if his nature itself is friendly then i i would say that person is amiable okay now read the sentence once she had an amiable personality amiable nature amiable personality amiable disposition okay always ready with a kind word and a smile i'm talking about she and this person is what kind of a person she is a friendly person her nature is friendly then what is the difference between these two words that what is what is the difference that you observe guys guys whenever we use the word amic amicable we will be talking about the relationship between persons it can it could be the relationship between two persons or it could be a relationship with relationship between two groups <clears throat> group number 1 group number 2 okay if these two groups of sharing a friendly relationship with each other they are amicable okay if they are friendly then only they share friendly relationship then they would be amiable people would be amiable then they share amicable relationship okay let us say a meeting is held I, if i want to say that the meeting was all fine all okay it was a friendly meeting i can say the meeting was amicable because the people over there were amiable this is the difference between amicable and amiable this is very beautiful to understand right 
ओके गई द नेक्स्ट पेयर ऑफ वर्ड्स वी हैव आर अडाप्ट अडेप्ट एंड अडेप्ट अंडरस्टैंड द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस गाइस अडॉप्ट कंटेन्स लेटर ओ अडेप्ट कंटेन्स लेटर ए अडेप्ट कंटेन्स E, which look quite identical. If you don't focus much upon the letters, guys, you will end up using the words mistakenly. Yes or no? That's why. Let us focus on the words and let us try to understand them properly now. Right? Where they are going to be used? What is the meaning of adopt? This is very widely used. The difference between adopt and adapt is quite noticeable, and they can be understood easily to people also because we generally use this. Right? Adopt is generally used in the situations where people generally adopt. kids from orphanages right people generally adopt kids from orphanages in that scenario adopt is used right and we are quite exposed to this word what is the meaning of adopt exactly exactly the meaning is to take up something to take up something okay now this is the meaning of adopt right and the word that you use is 100% right in that scenario we should not adopt bad manners right what is the meaning of this word this word adopt here we should not take up something right we, we should not take up bad manners we should not follow bad manners right so that in, the, in this is the context in which adopt is used then what is the meaning of adapt what is the meaning of adapt adapt it's to adjust we always adapt ourselves to new circumstances new situations new new places right a new environment right so kind of that word adapt always means to adjust right and the word is used in the sentence she adapted herself according to the circumstances in her life that's it guys the meaning of adapt is very easily understood adapt adapt is to adjust right easily understood and this is also widely used then the word which is not very widely used is adapt people don't know what adapt is the meaning of adapt is very skillful when we talk about a very skillful person we would say that person is adept now what is the parts of speech, speech of adept guys it is actually an adjective it shows a quality it's a quality okay very skillful person or very proficient person okay very proficient person right now see very expert okay expert is also correct so adept shows that he is an expert he is proficient and he is very skillful in any zone now see guys i said kapil is a person kapil is adept at imitating others so this guy has a very unique quality very skillful very expert in doing what imitating other people so this is the beautiful difference between adopt adapt and adapt adapt to is to take up something adapt is to adjust whereas adapt shows the quality of person very skillful or proficient or expert let us move to the next pair of words we have opposite and opposite the what pronunciation difference observe the pronunciation difference guys opposite 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 okay now what is the meaning of opposite and opposite opposite is a word which is very commonly used now we all know what is the meaning of opposite is opposite is on the contrary meaning is on the contrary on the opposite on the contrary that simply means positive versus negative right opposite contrary right good versus bad etc that we know already then what is the meaning of opposite and what is the difference between these two are they similar or not let us try to understand guys okay the meaning of opposite is quite different from opposite what is the meaning of opposite guys opposite simply means suitable understand guys this is the beautiful difference between opposite and opposite that is the beauty of english language see the letter is making a lot of difference guys o versus a here right opposite is suitable whereas opposite is not suitable is or no exactly kind of antonyms right now see guys his views about government are quite opposite please don't misunderstand the meaning of opposite for opposite not not same at all right the meaning of opposite is suitable or appropriate we could say suitable or appropriate or whatever right his views about the government are quite suitable quite appropriate then what is the meaning of opposite opposite is on the contrary now see she is just opposite to her brother if a brother has done something in one manner then this person will not do that work in the same manner she will do it in the quite opposite manner this is the beautiful difference between opposite and opposite right 
the next pair of words that we have are allude and elude the difference is letter a and letter e right okay they are quite confused guys okay they sound almost similar but they're different let us try to understand the meaning of allude first followed by elude right he can only allude to some of these points what is the meaning of allude guys according to context you must have guessed the meaning of this word if you have guessed it right you're good see guys allude simply means to refer something allude simply means to refer something guys refer to something directly or indirectly generally allude can be used in the sense of suggestion also this is also possible okay there are several means for this word guys allude can 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 give a sense of referring something or allude can be used for giving a suggestion or it is i mean when we talk about giving suggestions okay and allude can also be used when we give a hint at something without mentioning it directly but we say it in in a indirect manner so in all these perspectives we can use allude that is the meaning of this word in this sentence the meaning of allude is to refer right it is to refer right he can only refer to he can only allude to some of these points and remember allude will be used with preposition to generally okay it will not take other preposition generally right what is the meaning of elude then okay now we'll understand the difference now elude guys to understand that let us read the sentence come on the fugitive eluded the police for several months before his girlfriend turned him in what is the meaning of eluded here okay now guys you are talking about a criminal he eluded the police what is the meaning of elude elude is to escape elude is to escape there is one more word which which is also a beautiful one evade okay elude means to evade or escape guys very easily understood a fugitive nothing but a criminal is evading the police he is running from the police he is on a run he is he has eluded the police for several months before his girlfriend turned him in what is the meaning of turn in his girlfriend actually turned him in after several months when she found out that he is on a run she called the police and asked the police to come and take him okay what is the meaning of turn in turn in is a beautiful phrasal verb the meaning of this phrasal verb is to guys surrender the meaning of turn in is to surrender okay so this is the beauty of english language allude is different from elude allude is to refer to something suggest give, give a suggestion or suggest something indirectly or give a hint at something okay and elude is to evade or escape well i hope you understood the difference between the words that we have discussed today guys i hope everything is clear if you have any doubt please comment down in the comment section below and if you want more sessions on confusing words mention that too in the comment section below please give a moral strength strength to us by commenting like and share the videos guys and subscribe to the channel as quickly as possible thank you all for watching make sure you like share and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications download the rankazav app now for full courses